What's happening, y'all? Y'all know what it is, man. Greetings to all my foundation members. Greeting all the foundation members that's out there that's rocking with me. Um, y'all hit that like and subscribe and share, man. Share this video and hit that subscribe, man. Let your people know. Come on in, man. They want to hear these stories. Got to come on in here, homie. Uh, this is part two. It's part two where I left off at on uh, part one of uh, first stabbing in Alabama prison. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to get right into it. You know, I got this little cheap phone. It'll cut off quick. But anyway, so the youngster, when he run, when he run up in the dorm, and I run up in there behind him, you know what I'm saying, the other crips, they own it. They want to know what's happening. They want to get involved. So half of them kind of know what's going on and spread it. They want to help me. You know what I'm saying? They ready to try to do something to the youngster, get him. So I'm like, no, because I got him. You know what I'm saying? My motto was I kill my own snakes. You know what I'm saying? This is this is, this this me. This is personal to me. I got this. So, you know, they jumped around. So youngster, um, we in the back. Like I say, it's a big, huge 500-man dorm. So the police way the police way up in the front. They don't know what's going on and don't want to know what's going on. Period. It been it, it been some killings in the back. I'm talking about the body in the bed all the way till count time. They don't know and don't care. Don't want nothing to do with it. As long as you don't stick them, that's all they care about. So um, he toward the middle of the dorm. So when I come at him, he running through the beds. He moving. He moving. So eventually, you know, I get tired of it. I get tired of it. So now I done told the homies I was cuz. Y'all corner him off, corner him off. You know, stop him from running, homie. You know what I'm saying? Cuz, make him make him where he gotta face me, cuz. Don't let him run, don't let him run. So, you know what I'm saying? Homies in front of him with heat in their hand. They like, fool, fool, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So, you know, but now he got his heat. He got his heat tucked back like, man, y'all better get back. Man, y'all better get back, get back. So while he looking at them, they done distracted him. I ain't gonna lie. I go down low and I step through one of the beds and one of the bunk beds over onto the road next to him and he don't see me. So when I duck down and go through the other bed, as soon as I come up, I'm going to be right there on him in the same row as him. So what had happened was when I duck down and when I come through, he right there. And as he turned and seen me, I go to hit him. And I got about, I got about, about, about a 10 inch. I got a, uh, I got a, about a 10 inch ice pick. I had a 10 inch ice pick. Boom, that thing was pretty. So when I hit him, and then I was, I was, you know, I was super big back then. So when I hit him, I hit him with all my might. Mm. By the grace of God. Because if I'd have hit that boy where I was aiming, I wouldn't be here today. I'd still be somewhere stuck in prison, probably on death row. Because I'm going to hit him dead in the middle of the chest right here. It's where I went to hit him at. But as he turned and seen me, he hollered, oh. And when he hollered, oh, he go, he moved. And when he moved, he moved to the side. And I end up hitting him here in the shoulder. I end up hitting him right here in the shoulder. Bam. But when I hit him, man, I hit him with such force that the that the um the um the ice pick went through him. It went, it went through the little boy. Came, went in the front and shoulder and, and, and drove through the muscle. And I, I had to miss bone because it come out, it popped out their back. Boop. Anybody, anybody used to catch them stabbers, they know that little pop on that skin break that, you know. So we hollered, oh. When he hollered, oh, he jumped back. He slid up because the ice pick real thin and long. He slid up off of it at the end. But at the same time, he swung with his knife. Uh. Like, you know, one of them, uh, get off me type moves. And when he swung, I see the knife. He got a bone crusher, big blade. Cold part about it, this is a knife I gave him. He's swinging at me with a knife I gave him. So, boom, the knife coming, and I move. And when I move, it just kind of went past my head and my face a little bit. So I'm like, I'm like, fool, man, you finna die tonight. So when I when I when I stepped all the way through, he cocked back again. Get off me. Leave me alone. Now he hollering, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I snarl, cuz tonight you gotta die. So I go to hit him again. He jumped back. When he jumped back, it catch it, it catching his um 
in his shirt, boom, and ripped the whole shirt. He turned to run. When he turned to run, I catch him coming down the back of his head a little bit, but it don't go in his scrape cut, cut a big old long wide gash. It split it like, like tore it because it come down, but it come off him in the back of his head and he kind of fall forward, but he take off running. Boom. So he run in the bathroom. I chase him in the bathroom a little bit, then I stop because I, you know, the bathroom up by the police. I don't want the police involved with this. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, nah, we got to handle our business. So, um, I go around by the side wall and it's about five more crits with me. We all come up over the wall like this here. So the dude, he pacing, he pacing, he pacing, talking to himself, man, I want to die. Man, I'm going to make y'all kill me. I'm going to make y'all kill me. So, I'm telling him, I'm like, Cuz, come on out the bathroom then. Come on, come on back in the back. If you want to die, I, I, I gladly oblige you. I said, I gladly oblige you. Come on in the back. Come on back here. I give you what you're looking for. I give you what you want. He, and he, but he won't acknowledge me. He won't talk. So, um, he just walked pacing back and forth. He got blood dripping down his arm. He leaving, he leaving a blood trail from one in the bathroom to the next. The big bathroom, you know, like I say, it's a 500 man dorm. So imagine how big the bathroom is. So, boom, he he paces back and forth, back and forth. All he's saying, man, I want to die. Man, I, man, I'll make y'all kill me. I'll kill one of y'all. I said, well, come on back here, homie. I got you. Come on. I'll kill you what you're looking for. Let's do it. So, um, he, oh, he wanted not. So the homie sitting there next to me, um, he like, cuz, you want me to go get him? You want me to get him? I'll go in there and get him, homie. I said, no, cuz, it's on me right here, homie. It's my get down. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, cuz, I handle my own business. I kill my own snakes, homie. You know what I'm saying? I do that. If it was if it was universal, yeah, I said, because this right here, this me and cuz get out right here. I'm scratching my foot, y'all. Don't that's why I'm leaning like this. Hey, ooh, my foot itch. God dang. Sheesh. I be putting oil on it, but man, y'all know how it go. But anyway, so um boy, oh boy won't come out the bathroom. So now it's getting close to count time. So boom, they come to count. I shoot, I get rid of the knife and all that. When they come in to count, yeah, of course, this is what he want. A little catch out move on the low. They see him. They see all the blood. They get him. They shoot him up out of there. Everybody on your bunk, this, that, and the other, and all that. So I'm knowing I'm I know I'm I'm finna go to lock up. I'm knowing I'm finna go to the hole. Cause I don't know what he go tell. So uh oh, shoot. The police don't never come back. Why? I don't know, but they don't never come back. I end up going to sleep. Hmm. So the next morning, uh, let me see. Who woke me up? Um, a dude, a, a little blood dude. I ain't going to say his name. A little blood dude come waking me up. Man, tune, man, you got to straighten this out, man. Man, you got to straighten this out. I'm like, I'm like, homie, what you talking about straighten what out? He like, man, they, they finna lock me up, man. They think I stabbed that boy last night. They think I'm the one stabbed that boy up last night. I'm like, you know, you know what, what, you know, what you got to do with how they think that? But what had happened was at the same time that I'm getting into it with this fool, this dude, this little blood dude is getting into it with a disciple dude on the other side of the building. They getting into it. They done drew down on each other with some knives and they getting into it. So, you know, the rats, the rats that run around when they went, they, they didn't got the story mixed up. So the rats then went and told the police that they figured since it was a crip that got stabbed, they figuring that the blood dude did it. And so they told the, the, the rats told the, 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 the police that this dude did it and he didn't do it. So when they called him up there, I guess they, they call him up there and question him or whatever. And which he, 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 I don't know what he told him, but I know he a rat too. He ended up being a, a well-known snitch too, but for somehow, some way he, they, he made it back to me and like, man, straight it out, man. They coming down there. So boom. So, all right, he go, I told him, man, don't worry about it. Don't trip. Cause I'm knowing he a rat. So I'm telling him, look, don't trip. I got it. Don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? My fig I figure I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta write this narrative how I want it wrote now before it, you know, before they get down here or whatever, because I'm knowing they coming, boom, without him telling the whole story. So anyway, 
I gathered the homies up and went to talk to them about cuz this, 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 and this. So one of my homeboys, one of my good homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Anybody been locked up in Alabama prison, they know the homie AJ. I'm going to say AJ name because he's a good homie. You know what I'm saying? The homie AJ, um, AJ was a, what he, what he claimed? AJ claimed 40 neighborhood. They used to call him 4 Demon. He, you know, used to rap. But anyway, so AJ step up. He like, cuz, check this out, homie. I'm going to take the case. I'm going to take the case. I'm like, we going to take the He's like, yeah, cuz, we can't lose you like that. He said, man, I'm going to take the case. It ain't no thing with me. I'm like, that's what you want to do? He's like, yeah, cuz, that's what I'm going to do. So the police come. They come to get me. Yeah, eventually, yeah, they came. So boom, they cuffed me up. So at the same, so when they cuffed me up, the homie step up. He like, no, nah, cuz, um, Man, the big homie didn't do that. I'm the one stabbed him. I'm the one stabbed him. So they don't know what to do. So they cuff him up too. They take us both up to the shift office. So um, we get up to the shift office and um, the sergeant in there, he couldn't stand me. He like, man, um, I know cartoon, you the one stabbed this dude. I said, man, I ain't stabbed nobody. I'm, I ain't stabbed nobody. So at the same time, I'm hollering, I ain't stabbed nobody. The homie AJ, he like, man, I he tuned didn't do that. I'm the one stabbed him. I'm the one stabbed him. So they go get the little dude, you know what I'm saying? He he wrapped up, bandaged up and all that. He done came out the infirmary and all that. So the little dude go to holler, man, cartoon stabbed me, cartoon stabbed me. So I'm like, cuz, I mean, I ain't did none of you, fool. So the homie like, man, cartoon didn't stab you. You know I'm the one stab you. So the dude like, man, no, y'all lying. Y'all try, y'all trying to protect the cartoon, the one stabbed me. So, man, you know, it go round and round and round. But now the thing is, if I'm standing here saying I didn't stab you and you got another person standing here saying they the one did it, they can't. They ain't supposed to be able to lock me up. They're supposed to go ahead and lock him up. So what they did, they locked the homie up for the stabbing case and they locked me up anyway. Talking about um, they, in, in Alabama, it's called a Rule 62 um, that I'm, I'm a safety and security hazard. So, you know, that's some, that, that blankets everything. That's universal. When they hit you with the Rule 62, that's saying that we ain't, we don't know what we're going to get you on. We got to try to figure something out, but we just got to lock you up because we can't do nothing with you right now. So, boom, that's what they hit me with, the Rule 62. So, okay, now I'm back here in lockup. Eventually, they come at me talking about um conspiracy to do great bodily harm to another inmate. So, I'm like, man, come on, miss me with that drama. What you talking about? What you talking about, man? I ain't conspired to do anything, anything. So we going round and round with this mess, round and round with this mess. So then they that that don't stick. So then they try to hit me with talking about um I stole something out of another dude box, but they can't present. So now they can't present the dude who said I stole something. They just trying to make because they want to lock me up. So here it is. Three weeks go by. I'm still in lockup. They eventually got to let me go. But now lo and behold, when it's time for me to get out. They, the little youngster that I stabbed up, he's back in population. So how Alabama do it, you know, if you you know you got an enemy, you can't you can't go to population. You got to stay in lockup. So what they game was, that's why they pushed him back out there and put him back on the other side of the prison. You know what I'm saying? Away from the majority of the COD members. So with him in population, they get a, now they got a right to just hold me in lockup forever until he either transfers or they transfer me. I got on the paper, got on the paperwork. I wrote, phew, I shot, shoot, shot, shot them kites out to my people. Cause look, y'all got to get him up out of population on me. Y'all got to get him up out of population. So um, I say, cause as long as he out there, I can't come out there. So now remember, you had the dude that was second in command under me with his hating behind. He done got wit. He didn't, he, he didn't got wit. The youngster. And he don't want to move the way he's supposed to move. Because now the youngster done scold the pack. He's smoking weed with him. Um, the thing is, now I'm out the way, and they thinking it's all cookies and cream. Mm -mm. I breeded a good, I breeded a, a fairly good group of soldiers. So I sent them, I sent them boys at them. So the boy tell me, so the so-called second in command tell me, he like, look, man, I'm going to get the dude up out of there, too. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. We're going to get him out of here. I said, cuz, you know, I shoot a kite out there, cuz. Either y'all get rid of him or if I ever get out again, cuz, I'm coming to see every last one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Basically, but it was meant to him. Okay. We going round and round. A whole nother week and a half go by. I've been in lockup going on a month and a half. So, boom. 
they end up they end up getting him out of population. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make the story short. They end up getting the boy out of population. They run him off. And they get him up out of there. So when um when they get him up when they get him, when they get him up out of there, the police ain't got no choice but to let me out. They mad, they hot, they don't want to do it, but they got to. So now here it is. My first day out, I go I go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to talk to my people. You know, that's that's on that side of the prison where the gym is, because I slept on the other side. But we got COD members over there. So two of them in the gym. And so when I go to them, I'm talking to them, I'm talking to them. So um the dude that was in second in command behind me, he in the gym, but he ain't said nothing. He posted up on the wall just watching. So one of my people tell me, he's like, man, they go such and such right there. So when I go, I look, okay, now I'm really going to talk to him. But when I pull up on him, he jump off the wall with some aggressive type stuff. I'm like, Cub, what you talking about? What's wrong with you? So instead of him blowing at me, he blowed at my little comrade that was next to me, my little partner that was next to me. What were we blowing on him? So I step, I'm like, Cub, what you blowing on him for? Because like, it sounded like you directed it to me. I'm the one. Cuz I'm the one. So me and him go to have work. I was like, Cub, let's take it to the bathroom then. Come on. Let's take it to the bathroom. So when we get to the bathroom, gang of Crips following us. So when we get to the bathroom, I like tell him, I say, fool, I'll strip you. Now, stripping, in, when we say the word strip in Alabama, that means we'll make a fool stop claiming crip. We're stripping, we're stripping from the game. So I tell him, I say, cuz, I'll strip you right now, fool. And you, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. Nah, yeah, I ain't, now, you know, I'm gonna go get her. But now, that don't mean that he wouldn't know go get her too, though. You know what I'm saying? He about that gunplay. So, um... I'm like, cub, I man, I do this and that, so I go to walk up on him. When I go to run up on him, he draw down with the heat. I stop and look. I said, cub, oh, you got a heat? I said, cub, I don't care nothing about that. I got a regular state coat on, so I go to take the coat off. See, look, if you got a knife and I don't, I ain't tripping. If I got a, a big towel, a coat, anything that with a little, with a little weight that's like a blanket or something like that that I can use to wrap and twist, I got good skills on that one. I back up, I go to take, I take my coat off. When I take my coat off, I'm holding it in both hands like a, like a, like a matador, like a bullfighter. And I'm finna, I'm finna work him because I'm good with it. I'm good with this coat. If I ain't got no heat, I'm good with it. So, um, when I go to run up on him again, the fool come out the pocket with another knife. Now he got one in each hand. Now fighting a dude with one knife is one thing, but now fighting a dude who got a knife in each hand, that's a whole different ball of wax because you're going you gonna to take a hit. Even if you do get a chance to subdue him, you uh, nine times out of ten, you're going to take a hit that could be fatal. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the better part, you know, the discretion was the better part of valor for me. So I back up and I tell him, I say, cuz, you know what? I say, I got you, homie. Don't trip. I say, don't trip, cuz. I say, don't trip. This your night tonight. I say, homie, but tomorrow it's going to be a whole new day. I say, cuz, you know me. So he looking at me and he said, and then he said, cuz, you know me. You know me. I said, you're right, I do know you. So the next time you see me, cuz I'm 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 gonna come at you accordingly to what I know about you. And I backed off and got on. So when I got on, you know, I shoot, I shoot up out of it. I shoot back to where I was living, to my living quarters. So by this time, the word spread around the whole camp. Word spread around the whole camp. Boom, 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 boom. Um, you know, cartoon and such and such and squared off in the gym with the knife. You know what I'm saying? You know the word is cartoon. You know people know me, but now they know him too. So it ain't no such thing as a cartoon just going to kill such and such. No, nah, it's going to be cartoon and such and such finna, finna stab it out. So cool. So boom. So that night go by. So the next day come. So at this time, my crime partner, my homeboy, my Mexican homeboy, no good. He in the camp with me too. He, in the, you know, he right in the prison with me too. So he's like, cuz, that's right, homie. You know, we're going to do what we're going to do, cuz. Gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I'm like, that's right, homie. We're gonna do this, cuz. So, um, so bang. So by the time the next day come, we done split the Crip gang in the prison down the middle. You got those that's right with me, which are the which really is on all the CODs, and you know, you know, a, a small fraction of the regular um regular Crips. You got a bunch of regular Crips that's just ride with him. None of the COD went with him. So um, me and my group, we make it to the gym the next morning first. Now, I ain't got my knives on me. Another one of my people, they holding a knife because at this time, the police had a habit of just seeing me and just grabbing me like, you know, you know pat me down because I kept that heat on me. I kept it. 
So um, we get in the gym. I ain't gonna lie. We about we about 25, 30 deep at the back of the gym, posted up waiting. So um, bing. Time goes on. Here come they let uh they let two block out. That's where he was living in two block. When they let two block out, they coming to the gym and all the other blocks coming. Man, it was man, it was so many of them. It like it got dark. Like I say, they they grew bigger than ours because the majority of the Crips went went with him, and um be, and because the COD was going with me, and then, uh, that was that was an issue was in itself. It was sort of like the same like little issue we was having in California with paperwork. So um when they come through the gym, they come through the door. They come deep. I'm like, oh yeah. So as soon as he stepped through the door, I tell, I tell. Um, one of my peoples, I said, Cub, give me them knives. I said, give me the knife. So when he hand me the knife, I take off walking fast. I see my target, Cub, I'm like a guided missile. I go straight at him. So, boom, now all the other cl Crips, they, well, that's with them, they flaring out, getting out the way. So when Cub see me coming, he, uh, whoo, whoo, he drove down with, he drove down with both heads. He come up with a bam, bam. So, boom, I'm like, yeah, here, here it go. Hmm. So when I cock back, I come back. I come at him. I'm like, yeah, cuz, let's do it now. Man, a gang of fools rush between us. Man, y'all hold up, hold up. Hold up, cuz, man. Y'all ain't gonna do this. Man, cuz, y'all ain't gonna do this. Man, we all crips, homie. We all crips. I'm like, no, nah, cuz, I don't wanna hear that. I say, cuz, gotta go. We all crips. So, you know, he just looking, he just looking through the crowd at me. He looking through the crowd. He ain't doing a whole lot of talking. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, yeah, cuz, it's going down. Nah, it's going down. But he ain't doing no talk. He looking at me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I'm like, he, you know, he ain't made his mind up. It's going to be what it's going to be. Ain't nothing to talk about. Run up on him. He finna start slanging them hammers. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to run up on him. So, um, but now fools getting between us. All these crypt, cause we all crypt. So I'm, I'm bouncing around trying to get around fools. So eventually I'm like, look, cause y'all get out the way, man. He a man. I'm a man. Y'all got to get out the way. Cause let us do what we going to do. Shoot, cuz, let us do what we gonna do. They won't. So now people, you know, cooler heads prevailing like, cuz, man, let's take it to the big bathroom. We need to talk. We need to talk. So eventually, okay, we head to the bathroom. We go to the bathroom. And, um, you know, I'm in there, he in there. So we go to talking. Not talking, but other people talking. Talking about how we tripping. They trying to present facts and, you know, figures on the problem and why this and that happened, why this and that happened. So you know it's about it's about eight crisps between us though, cause they don't want him to they don't want him to lunge and they don't want me to lunge. So he got his he both he he got both heats in his hand. I got the one bone crush in my hand. You know what I'm saying? I used to call that whole Excalibur, big pretty knife. You know what I'm saying? I could stab you in your toe, and your whole leg gonna fall off. How big it pretty it was? You know? Yeah. It was for the fear factor. That thing, boy. I should have been slanging it with two hands. But um. So. Dude went to talk about how I wrote a note, talking about um who I'm gonna knock out, I'm gonna do this and that. I was like, yeah, cuz I wrote that note, cuz I felt y'all wasn't moving and, 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 and doing what y'all was supposed to do, cuz, and this, that, and the other. Well, man, look, whoa, whoa, whoa. and you know, it started coming out, coming out, coming out. But um, you know, I can rant and rave. Eventually, cooler heads prevailed. Cooler heads prevailed. Um I can keep going. Matter of fact, yeah, I ain't gonna shorten it up. Cooler heads prevail, and we decided, okay, well, look, cuz, uh, that we 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 ain't we ain't gonna do this. This ain't this ain't what we gonna do. Um, needs to say, I I cuz had to step down. He had to get up out. He had to get up out. Cod. You know, I told him, I said, cuz, this ain't for you no more. Cuz, do what you do. I'm gonna do what I do. You know, what I'm saying, you stay out my way, cuz. I'm gonna stay out your way. Um, that was the best way. That we was gonna be able to handle that, you know what I'm saying? Without, without, without probably killing each other and really going down through there. So, um, that's what happened. I end up, I, you know, I could go further with the story because I end up coming to Cuz aid. He got stabbed up a little bit after that, but that's another story. I could tell you how that happened. I'm gonna end this one. You know, how I say, Cuz, what I tell you. You know, A's up, Avalon. Stay up, Foundation.